coming to the first part vector differentiation let's talk about scalar and vector fields assume that you are participating a campfire let this be a campfire the fire is arranged at the center and people are standing around it at their comfort which means at different points or distance the heat felt is different so we can relate these points using some kind of functions and this is defined as a scalar point function now observe the whole area people stands within a confined area which means the heat from the fire has a field so we can call this area as scalar field since there is no dependency on direction consider a point charge plus q let's place this somewhere in the space like this now the electric field which has a vector character is different at different points in the same potential surface here the electric field depends on both the distance and direction hence these points are defined as vector point function and the area at which the electric field is experienced is defined as a vector field now what is a del operator which is denoted by upside down triangle del is a mathematical operator it is defined as do by do x i cap plus do by do y j cap plus do by do z k cap then how it acts consider a equal to ax plus by plus cz taking del dot a we have to take dot products of all the combinations then del dot a is a i plus b j plus c k Similarly, if a is a vector, vector a equal to a x i plus b y j plus c z k. Then del dot a is a plus b plus c, which is the gradient. And for del cross a, we have to solve the determinant. Now let's talk about divergence and curl. Divergence is the dot product and curl is the cross product. These are denoted as div and curl. These are usually used to study vector fields. divergence gives a scalar or a number 
and curl gives a vector. Basic theorems regarding divergence and curls. 1. Divergence of a curl is 0. 2. Curl of a gradient is 0. And finally, directional derivatives. Directional derivative simply is the derivative of a vector in a particular direction.